Hi there, this is Rob. In this little video I'm going to review the Quantifiable Edges Quantifinder and how to use it for your own benefit. There are two versions of the Quantifinder, an intraday version and an end of day version. Uh, the intraday version is run sometime before the close. It takes a snapshot of that point in time and shows what Quantifiable Edges studies would trigger if the market were to close right then and there. The final version of the Quantifinder is run after the close. It's normally ready around 440. The only real difference is that the intraday version does not include studies with volume on individual securities, SPY for instance. It does include New York Stock Exchange total volume studies and estimates based on that point in time during the day. What the quantifier does is it gives you the quick version of what the current action may mean over the next several days, but it also allows you to drill down and get more detail. I'm currently looking at the final end of day version here. This version shows the studies that have triggered over the last five days, including today. The first thing to notice is the color of the studies. Green means bullish, red or bearish, and black are interesting but not necessarily either bullish or bearish. You can see here a few days ago that we had several uh, bullish studies showing up, but that's no longer the case. And last night the studies were both bearish and neutral. So by taking a quick look at the quantifinder you can get a basic feel for whether the studies will be leaning bearish or bullish. I'm often asked how many studies are in the quantifinder. That changes as more get added and some get deleted. But as of the beginning of 2014, there are about 1,300. So the second level of detail can be found by simply hovering over any of the studies. By doing this, you'll see a description of the study, and you'll know the particular parameters that are suggesting a bullish, bearish, or otherwise notable setup. So here you can see if we hover over this black study, it simply looks at a performance breakdown of OPEX weeks by month. And some are bullish and some are bearish, but overall the study is notable, not necessarily one or the other. If we go over to the left here, we can see January OPEX week is a separate study, and that was done about a year ago, and that shows a bearish inclination. The last level of detail can be found by simply clicking on the study. Doing so will take you directly to the subscriber letter or blog post in which the study was discussed. From there you can review what I wrote at that point. So here we see where I spoke about that study in the past. By checking the quantifinder on a periodic basis, subscribers can get a pretty good feel for the tone that the subscriber letter is likely to take that night, and they will likely get a preview of some of the things I will discuss. Please note that the material within the quantifinder is copyrighted, and I would ask that you refrain from posting the information in a public place. Though if the quantifinder study links directly to a blog post, I am okay with you posting or tweeting a link to that post, but I would ask that you mention you were reminded of that information through your use of the Quantifiable Edges Quantifinder. An example would be this old blog post looking at Turnaround Tuesdays. Hopefully the Quantifinder becomes a useful tool for helping you set your market bias. And for those of you that like to do your own testing, it can also serve as kind of an idea machine. I'd encourage all users to take advantage of the Quantifinder, and feel free to contact me if you have any questions about it. Thanks for listening.